Hello everyone. Um, this is a picture by Amanda Walsh and um, she wanted to know how I adjust skin tones or how I mesh the skin tones and I will show you in this little video. Uh, first of all I use a different method than most people do and first of all I have to bring out the info palette uh, you go here to window and click on info or you can click F8 and here's your info palette. Now uh, what I use to measure the skin, a lot, a lot of people use RGB or use um, CMYK. I like to change that in here. To click on this little button here and I go to LEB, LAB. Uh, just a quick explanation of LAB. If you need more info, please look it up somewhere. Uh, LAB, LAB is a great uh, color space to work with. But uh, here, to mesh the skin, it's really, really easy to understand. Uh, the L value is nothing more than the lightness. It's separated from all the color. Highlights are normally from 80 to 90. Um, mid-tones are somewhere from uh, 50 to 70 and below that it's uh, shadows. So anyway, we got some good lightness here in the chair. If you look here, the L value and measure here, I'm using the eyedropper tool or the color sampler tool. Either one will, will work for that. We have 82 here, we have 78. So we get got pretty good brightness, but there's one thing um, about the A and B value. For skin tones, A should be always a little lower than B. Uh, the A channel is the same thing as the uh, tint slider in Lightroom. A is uh, the minus values here in A would be uh, magenta, uh, I'm sorry, would be green and the plus values would be red or magenta. So right here, uh, the skin of this girl here is about 20 and the B value, which is the same thing as the temperature slider in Lightroom, uh, it's uh, from blue to uh, yellow. Minus numbers would be here, minus numbers would be blue. Uh, if you look at the measurements here in her skirt, uh, in her dress, there's uh, minus one that would show a little bit of blueness. Uh, the positive numbers are yellow. Skin tone should always be a little bit more yellow than red. Here, we got a little problem. We got more red here than we have yellow. We have a measurement of 2015. So what I normally do here is uh, I uh, click on the curves adjustment layer and uh, I go to blue, to the blue channel and I go here and find a point which uh, indicates roughly the skin tone and we have 2015 there's a little problem down here it's 2224 which would be uh, about right for the skin tone but uh, that will be a little more yellow by the time we adjust the red but I want to get the red out of here so I click here with my left mouse button and I hold it and I move down and uh, go until we have about even numbers here 1919 or even uh, go a little more 1820 so 1820 would be a good number for this area here 1822 that's pretty good here um, it's not so good out on the sides here but it's not too bad I, if she could have a little bit of a sunburn or something but right here I go in, I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I'm clicking here and I bring the 
Yellowstone are here. So the, there we go about, that should be about right. Um, now in the curve I bring this down here and bring that up here to normalize the curve a little bit. So that should be basically it. But anyway, uh, skin tone, when you measure it in LAB, skin tone should be a little bit more yellow or more positive on the B than the A channel. It could be equal. Um, now that's for, cauc for Caucasian skin. If you're talking uh, for African Americans, you're talking a, a, a little higher L value, a little lower L value, I'm sorry. But uh, the skin tone will still be about the same. Maybe a little more, more uh, a little less yellow than uh, in a normal skin. On babies, well, you might have some reds in there. Babies are normally red, so that should be okay. This area here, this red area in here, uh, if I zoom in, I see some real red there. I would remove this with... Um, uh, hue and saturation slider. Um, adjust that. There's also some reds up in here, which are quite blotchy. I would also use the hue adjustment, the uh, hue saturation adjustment for that. So anyway, otherwise, skin tone looks pretty good here with 21, 28, 19, 21. Um, I adjust that to LAB. I go about 3 by 3 average here. And uh, that should be about it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.